Welcome to a new video, and today I'm going to be talking about WGU and its cybersecurity and information insurance degree. So I'm about 65% completed so far for my degree, and I've loved the process. This video is going to be for anyone who might want to be attending at WGU, and then of course for anyone who is interested in cybersecurity. So WGU has a wide range of degrees you can choose from in IT. They have information technology, cloud computing, cybersecurity, networking, software engineer, and some other degrees. So really take a look on their website, make sure you call them, ask a million questions, right? Going to school is a huge commitment mentally and financially. So you wanna make sure that you're invested and it's something you wanna actually commit to. So besides the de degrees to choose from, I'm just gonna list some things that you should expect when you start. So you applied, you got approved, you're now at WGU as a student, what to expect. I would say there's four big things to look at when you're starting WGU. The first thing is gonna be a program mentor. This is gonna be someone who's gonna motivate you, but they're gonna also make sure that throughout your degree plan that you're staying on track. They're basically there not to teach you because they're not a teacher, but they're there to inform you and to ask if you have any questions. For me, I have to check in with my program mentor once every week. And my program mentor luckily is very laid back so don't be nervous about it. Again, they're there to help you. They want you to, to complete your degree at the best and quickest way possible on how you work and how you think. So just know that they're there. There's someone you're gonna have to be in contact with. The second thing I would talk about is the library. I think a lot of people in universities don't utilize their library and it's hundreds of free books, right? Books that cost hundreds of dollars on Amazon and you get to read them for free. So for example, I'm studying for my CCNA. So I looked up CCNA and I think there's over eight books on it. Totally free, some of them have large practice tests in them as well. So utilize the library, check out the books they have, do that research on what you wanna specialize in and it's gonna be very beneficial. The third thing I would like to mention is the Udemy business account. So if you don't know what Udemy is, it's basically a service that allows you to learn through different courses about different topics. So if you're on Udemy and you search how to pass A+, you're gonna get all these videos from different content creators on how to pass that course. And again, normally with Udemy, you have to pay for each course and that's a lot of money. But again, since WGU for free gives you a Udemy business account, you can now get and watch all those videos for free. A little note with that, it normally takes about two to three weeks, I believe, when you first get approved for WGU to be able to log in with that account. So if you start off and you're in day two and you're getting frustrated because you can't log in and it's not working, just know it takes a few weeks for them to build that, um, that account for you. And then the fourth thing I would really wanna hit on and talk about is moving courses around. So throughout your degree plan, there are certain courses that you can move around. Let's say you want to knock out your A-plus pretty soon and starting off in schooling. Well, you can make that happen. Of course, you have to go to your program mentor, talk to them about it, tell them the reasoning behind why you want to make this change. And for the most part, they'll approve it and they'll move it for you. So that's one of the biggest things I like about knowing I can move courses around. Because again, for someone like me, I want to finish as soon as possible, but without rushing, right? I want to learn as much as I can but I also wanna obtain and graduate with that degree. So we went over some really good things to know, what to, what to expect for the courses. So for cybersecurity specifically, I think there's around 15 certs that you get and WGU basically puts a cert as a, as a course. So when you go to take that class, let's say A+, you're really just studying right for that big exam. And once you take and pass that exam, it counts as a credit towards a course. So I really like that because you get to choose, move courses around, and then from that, you can obtain a cert and pass a credit to be one step closer to graduating. And having certs along with your education is gonna be big when it's time to apply for jobs. It's gonna look really good. It's gonna show you're committed and also you're learning at the foundational level with those certs. So again, go on their website, look at each cert that you can obtain for each degree. It's gonna be a little different. And then see what courses you're gonna be taking. 
for me, for example, um, I wanted to take the Network Plus as well pretty soon into my degree. Well, I had to take a Network Foundation class first before that one. I was a little sad because I just wanted to jump into the Network Plus, but oddly enough, the Foundations course really set me up to pass that Network Plus later on. So moving your courses around again, talking to your program mentor, and they're going to help put the courses where it best fits you. So we, we've talked about what to expect, what courses you're going to take, how you can obtain certs. The last big thing I would talk about and what I really like about everything with WGU is the pace. So depending on your lifestyle, where you're at, right? If you work two jobs, you have a couple kids, right? Life's really busy. And maybe it's intimidating. Maybe you're a little older and you're just really busy. WGU is going to meet you at where you're at and it's going to help you with that degree plan on what classes you can take and the time frame for it. So for example, I told them, hey, you know, I'm a young adult, no kids. I'm a go-getter. I'm going to finish classes like that if I can. Um, I know that depends right on background. For example, I grew up reading a lot about security and incident response, a lot of things with hacking. So when I took my security plus, I think I studied for about four to six days and then I took the exam and passed it. That's a very big test. It's something you don't want to rush into. But again, based on my way of thinking and especially my background of growing up, it was something I was already confident and very comfortable with. And Again, with the program mentor, since I told them I was a go-getter, they basically knew I was going to be passing courses pretty quickly. So some courses I finished in two to three days, a whole class, a whole credit, and it's done. So that's the coolest thing. You really can finish early and graduate really early in your degree. It's really up to you, right? Again, it's up to how busy you are in life, but also too how motivated you are. You have to stay motivated. You have to know, hey, I love the journey and hate it at some points, but I'm going to love that end goal. So you just got to stay motivated. And before you know it, you're going to graduate with a degree and it's going to look really good once you get that dream job, hopefully in the future down the road. So I hope this video was beneficial. I hope it's helpful. Again, look at WGU's website. I'm in no way uh, sponsoring or working for them. Definitely just ask them about any questions. You can ask me about small ones, but ask them about the big ones, of course. And I hope this video helped you out. Have a good day. Thank you, guys.